One of the pitfalls of recording a course like this is that upgrades can happen while you're halfway through the course and that's exactly what has happened here because I started the course in Laravel 11 but in the last few weeks Laravel 12 has been released and so what you've got to do really is just embrace this because upgrades are a fact of life. If you're working on production projects you're going to get upgrades all the time and luckily for us Laravel Symphony, uh, many others, they sort of schedule these on a quite a regular schedule now like yearly and so things aren't as bad as what they have been in the past and and also the way that we've built this is we've got feature tests, we've got unit tests, it's a fairly well tested application. So this should really be a case of changing the version in our Composer JSON file, running Composer update and then running the tests and hopefully nothing will break but if something has broken then we'll know where to go and look because our tests will tell us. Okay so let's First of all, go to our Composer JSON file, and here, as you can see, using a version 11.4, so or 11.40. So all I'm going to do is just going to change this to 12. Point star, and then I go to my terminal. I run Composer update. Okay, that all seems to have gone okay. If I do a git status now. I should see some changes. So you can see I've got a change to Composer JSON and Composer Lock. So let's have a look at Composer Lock first before I run any tests. And in here, I'm just going to look for Framework because that is what it's called. And so as you can see, uh, Laravel has now been updated to version 12.1.1. Okay, so the last part of um, updating or upgrading is just to run all of your tests and see if anything has broken. So I'm not expecting any breaking changes in this version of Laravel, but you never know. Let's run this. And we do indeed get a fully passing test suite. So that went fairly painlessly. It would have been more painful if we didn't have tests because we wouldn't have that security blanket we wouldn't have that sort of certain knowledge that there are no breaks but if you especially if you have feature tests which touch your functionality end to end then you can have pretty good confidence in your application so the way we've approached this the way that we've built this has really enabled us to upgrade with minimum hassle